This episode of the Golf WRX Shop is brought to you by Fujikura Ventus with Velo Core Technology. The Ventus line has expanded and now has three shaft profiles to fit your desired ball flight. Ventus Red for mid-high ball flight with mid-spin, Ventus Blue for mid-launch and low spin, and Ventus Black for low launch and low spin. So go ahead and find your local Fujikura dealer by visiting Fujikura.com and try Ventus with VeloCore out for yourself. Welcome back to the Golf WRX shop. I'm Knudsen. Apologize that it's been a while since uh, we've done one of these videos, but uh, we're going to do one today and we're going to install a putter grip. Now I know a putter grip uh, isn't that exciting in terms of installing one. I've, I've probably already done it before, but today we're going to do something cool. We're going to do a, a Sense golf grip, uh, putter grip install. So the guys from Sense here make uh, two different models, S1 and R1, one's square, one's rectangular. Uh, but what they're doing is basically uh, face awareness through your stroke. So the flat sides of the square or rectangular grip are parallel with the face of the putter, and that way you get a sense of where that face is aligned throughout the whole stroke. Uh, now they kind of uh, have a cool little system here where they also offer, uh, you know, when you open this thing up here, uh, they've got a cool little thing that tells you to go to uh, sensegolfgrips.com slash setup uh, to kind of watch the videos on how to install these and don't do like I typically do, which is eyeball it. Uh, so what they do is they give you kind of a cool setup here, uh, this whole system, so you get the grip. Uh, they have basically a carbon rod here that you can have sliding weights or their saw system. Uh, and basically you can have a couple different weights on here, slide them up and down this, uh, this carbon rod inside the, the putter shaft uh, to kind of adjust the feel. Uh, and the, the stability of the putter. And then they give you kind of a, a leveling block as well so that when you set up the putter uh, in your vise, you can make sure that the face is perfectly level so when you put the grip on, that grip, uh, the square grip and the face are perfectly parallel. That way, you know, always aligned through the stroke. So it's kind of a cool system. It's pretty nice. Uh, they give you a little Allen key as well to uh, adjust the weights and, and all that also. Uh, but it's a kind of a cool system for, for what they charge you. It's you know, it's, it's pretty high quality, uh, but it's a cool thing, and, and it's, uh, you know, a different way of regripping a putter. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and regrip a, a, a little Betonardi Queen B8 that I've got here, and I'll show you how we put it in here and how you put, use all, uh, all the stuff. I've already gripped uh, one putter here with uh, the R1, but we're going to go ahead and regrip uh, this one here and uh, set it up. It's pretty easy, but it's also pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get it uh, clamped in the vise, and we'll show you how everything's set up. All right, so what we're going to do is clamp this uh, putter here in the vise. Now, typically when you clamp a putter in a vise to regrip it, you make the face go, uh, you know, perpendicular to the ground, 90 degrees, perfectly straight up and down as you can. Now, with this kit, since these are square and rectangle grips, we're actually going to set the putter in so the face is actually parallel with the ground. So it's going to be actually up this way, which is a little different, uh, but it's actually, you know, it makes sense of, of why they're doing it. Uh, so you're going to clamp it in. Uh, just like you would normally, except you're going to make sure the face is parallel to the ground. Now, to help do this, because this isn't easy to do, they give you actually a little block that has, you know, bubbles like a level on it. So it's a leveling block. And what you do is you can set that right on the face and then kind of move it around to make sure that it's level with the, uh, or parallel with the ground. So you just have to keep moving it around a little bit here. So, and there's kind of two there, depending I think on the shape of the putter, it's gonna have two different ways you can uh, level it. So when you put it in here and you get the bubble, you know, right in the center, you know that face is, is, is parallel to the ground. Uh, and then once you get that set up, it's basically regripping just like a regular putter. Uh, this, you know, this here is, is rubber. Um, I actually like the, really like the feel. It's kind of like a brushed rubber, uh, but it's basically got you know a standard putter grip for the most part. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll you'll put some tape on and uh, use some solvent and just put it on like normal. So put a little this here, measure it out. So this thing's gonna go all the way to my shaft band there, but that's not not too big of a deal. And grab a knife. <clears throat> Now I already cut the grip off and pulled the tape, which you know you would you would do, uh, and then just put on one layer of tape. So put that on there, and then 
you know, this part of it, like I said, is pretty, pretty easy, pretty normal. Wrap your tape around the shaft. Try to make sure you don't have uh, any big bubbles or ridges or anything like that in it. And then, like most putters, you're going to put your finger over the end to cap it. Put a little solvent in here. And then I like to take a little solvent and put it on the tape prior to uh, pouring it out of the, the grip. Take your other finger, cover the end, give a little shake to coat the inside of the shaft, and then take your solvent and just pour it back onto the, onto the shaft there. Now the, the S logo goes with the putter, so when you put that on kind of sideways and slide it on. So, and it doesn't necessarily say to do this part uh, in the instructions, but it was something I just kind of did because I had it here, which is take this leveling block and kind of put it over on the side or on the grip itself. And then you can make sure that your grip is perfectly level as well. So what I did here was just put it on there, made a little tweak, made sure that the, uh, the putter grip is on there, how it should go. And that way, it's perfectly centered and parallel with the face. So uh, once that's on there, you're going to give that a, a minute or two to kind of set up because you don't want it twisting or anything like that when you pull it off. Uh, but wipe off your, your excess... Uh, your excess uh, mineral spirits there. And then like I said, let this kind of sit for a couple minutes just to slight, you know, start to harden up a little. Um, if, like I said, if you take it off and start messing with it, it could move on you. And again, you know, they want, you know, they, they say the best, uh, the best performance you're gonna get out of this is making sure everything is perfectly parallel. So let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll put the cap in uh, and also show you how to use the, the sliding weight system. So while you're waiting for this to set up a little bit, you can kind of prepare the, the saw system if you're gonna use it, the sliding adjustable weights. Uh, so what this is, is actually a carbon fiber rod, uh, and it's got some markings on it at you know, different inches, so this is a, a little over a foot long. Um, if you're not gonna use the saw system at all, uh, what you can do is it comes with this little you know, twin Allen key, the big one for setting the cap in the head, or in the shaft, and then it has a small Allen key that adjusts the weights uh, on this, you know, for the system. So if you're not going to use it, you know, you just want a standard putter, you don't want to counterbalance it at all, uh, you can just basically unscrew uh, the, the Allen key there uh, and then screw the, uh, the cap right in there. Uh, what I did with mine is I actually took the little Allen key or the uh, little screw, the Allen screw out, and I put it just in here uh, just to save it just so it didn't rattle, uh, come loose and fall down in the shaft, something like that. Um, but if you're going to use uh, the system, which is, uh, which is a pretty cool little system, uh, you'll basically have this on here. And there's a little kind of weight at the end for very little weight. Uh, and then it comes with, I believe it's a 10, double check. Uh, it comes with a, a 10, a 20, and 30 gram sliding weight. So what you'll do is you'll take this key, if you want one of the heavier ones, and you'll unscrew the little cap off here and take one of these larger sliding weights and slide it, you know, up or down wherever you'd like it. So, you know, if you want it back really far near the butt end, like a slug, uh, you can actually move it down. And, and this counterbalance basically just adds uh, a little different feel to the putter, as well as uh, adding some stability to it. So uh, what you can do is then once you get it in the place you want it, you know, you can move it up and down here uh, to whatever inch point you want. Uh, and then you'll basically insert it back into the, I'm sorry, got to put the little cap back on. Uh, so you put your little cap back on here. And this end cap is basically to stop the thing from, from rattling or moving in the, in, in the head. No uh, unwanted vibration. And then you're basically going to insert into the, uh, the end of the shaft, into the butt end, and then take your, lo your larger Allen key here and screw it into the butt cap because that's threaded. Um, so here, yeah, like I said, you can basically take these uh, weights and, and kind of play around with them, uh, see what you like, uh, where you think uh, you, know, you have the best feel, uh, and also the best stability, because uh, a lot of people go to counterbalance putters for stability, and uh, you, know, you can mess around with the, the 10, 20, 30 gram weights and you know, move them up and down this shaft to get a different feel and lock them in place. 
Now, you do have to be careful because if you have something like, say, a Ping uh, a Sigma 2 that has that adjustable uh, shaft on it, you're not going to be able to use this system. Uh, it won't fit in the uh, butt end of the shaft. Also, if you have a putter where you've actually put an extension, maybe a, a, in the back end, uh, some of the thicker aluminum ones, this isn't going to fit in with that either. So, be, you know, in certain situations, you may not be able to use this piece, but for a traditional putter, uh, you know, it can. Now, if you have a shorter putter like this one that's 33 inches and the taper starts to happen sooner uh, than, say, a 35-inch putter, uh, they said you actually can cut this carbon rod down. So you don't necessarily have to play the full 12 inches of it. You could cut it down to make it fit in your putter. So that's kind of cool to be able to do adjust it like that. Uh, but it's something that you don't have to do. It's up to you. But it's pretty simple and, you know, easy to use. And it's nice that you can kind of mess around with it. You can try one, pull it back out, slide the weights around, uh, and then fine-tune, you know, your perfect feel. So, um, yeah, once this sets up, I, I'm, I personally, I'm not a big counterbalance guy. I don't, I don't use that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in, uh, you know, just as a straight, uh, the straight end cap on there. And uh, we'll be ready to putt in just a minute. So once your putter's set up, you know, for 15, 20 minutes, uh, maybe in a half hour, just let it really set so it doesn't move. Uh, take your end cap or your end cap with your saw system with your movable weights, your sliding weights, and basically drop that in. Uh, so you'll basically drop this in. There's some threads on this aluminum end cap and just start it with your hands. Large end of the uh, Allen key here and just tighten that on. Don't have to go crazy tight with it, but uh, tighten that on and you're ready to go ready to go to the course and, and, and try it out. So it's a cool system. I, I like that they make it really easy uh, to install. They make it easy to make it, you know, they have everything included. Make sure everything's parallel, everything's squared up. Uh, I, I really like that design, it's pretty cool. There's two different shapes again. You know, you have the R1, which is kind of a longer front to back paddle. Uh, and then uh, of course you're, you're just square. So whatever design you'd like the feel of. Uh, but if you want to try them out, uh, check out uh, sense golf grips uh and uh you know check them out for yourself and and see which one you like but it's a cool system and um you know if you have any questions let me know and uh, we'll see you next time down here on the in the golf wrx shop